Okay guys, I'm going to be introducing my new product to you. This is my Butterfly Beauty Blender. And what it does is evenly spread your makeup on for you without you overusing the product. I see a lot of you guys don't really know how to use the makeup brush and there's too much makeup packed on your client's cap or on your client's skin. And you really don't want to do that because that's going to cause more itching and just overuse of product that's not necessary. You want to spend your money wisely and you want to save your products so you don't have to keep on going out to buy more and more products so do you guys see how evenly spread it the makeup is that's the look that you want to go for once you do that you can go ahead take the stuck on you styling gel or the gel of your preference and just smooth it around the hairline sit them under the dryer boom you have your ball cap it also doesn't matter which order you do the makeup or the gel in sometimes I put the gel first then do the makeup after I have molded them down or sometimes I do it before. It really doesn't matter. You're going to get the same results. Now that I have the ball cap and everything done, I'm just putting the wig on my client's skin. And this is an HD lace. And I honestly truly have a love-hate relationship with the HD lace. Oh, by the way, the same makeup that you put on your client's skin, you're going to put it on the back of the lace. Then you're going to take some holding spray. You're going to see that in the next clip. I'm going to take some holding spray and spray it on there just to seal the makeup in. And the makeup sometimes have oil in it. So I just like to spray the holding spray on it so I can just, you know, seal it in. And in my head, I came up with that conclusion. I feel like it just sticks better and the install lasts longer when you do that step. Now I'm just taking the hold me down adhesive, spreading it on evenly with the three in one tool. And I'm just going to focus on putting it on the cap and a little bit above my client's hairline. I'm going to go in and fix anything that needs to be fixed in the next clip, which you will see. But I want you guys to only worry about putting the um, adhesive on the cap and a little bit above the client's hairline. Once it turns clear, you can go ahead and proceed to the next step. Make sure it's clear all the way around. You don't want there to be any white spots because it's just going to be really messy and tacky looking. And I'm just taking a small fine tooth comb and combing the lace and the hair into the adhesive. Make sure you do this and ask your client to help you hold down each side where their ear tabs are going to be. Once you have it combed in, you're going to blow dry it for a while. Then you're going to take your scissors and cut around the ears. I haven't done anything to the hairline, no plucking, no anything. Only thing that I have done was bleach the knots and tone the knots. I haven't plucked it and I really, really love this wig because I really don't like to pluck all the time. And this is a great thing to have like a pre-plucked wig if you're in a rush if you have a lot of clients for the day or you just really don't know how to pluck that well this is a good wig to start with so back to what i was saying about the hd lace that i have a love and hate relationship with is because it melts really nice but it doesn't last very long that's the only downfall about it
I use my blow dryer on warm or heat, not too hot so it could burn your client's skin, but you want it to melt. You want the glue and the lace to melt in with one another. The elastic band and the hot comb is a great way to ensure that you melt your lace all the way in as best as you can, as best as it can be. Now all I'm doing is just going to take some of my Fluff Stuff styling foam and put it right here in the middle because I want it to be volumized. I want that to be like poofy a little bit but still neat and nice. And the Fluff Stuff styling foam adds volume. Look at the amazing wonders that the elastic band does. It gives you that extra melt and it gives you like flawless, 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 flawless work. And I'm just taking the hot comb. I'm not pressing the roots out because I don't want them to be flat. I want it to be volumized, which is the purpose of the fluff stuff. But I'm just taking the hot comb and taking away that harsh line that the elastic band left. This was her reaction when I showed her how her hair looked. Now I'm going to proceed with styling process. I'm just going to put some fluffy curls in her hair. I'm not going to add any layers just because I want her to be able to use her wig once again. But this hair um, holds the curl really good. Sometimes when I review hair, the curls will immediately drop and I would have to keep curling it and playing with the curls and playing with the hair. But once I comb through it, the curls were still there and the curls looked amazing. I love everything about this wig and I like the HD lace, but if you're looking for longevity, I suggest that you just get a regular Swiss transparent lace because the HD lace isn't going to last as long because of how fragile it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you use these techniques and let me see your results. Bye.